So, here we are at the end of this term and it's a sad and fond farewell to our year 11s. Right now they're outside signing shirts, laughing and joking, thanking their teachers and uh, shedding a few tears, I've, I've seen a few already. So we will miss them but they're an impressive, impressive group of young adults and we wish them such good love and luck on their future journey, whatever they decide to do, whether it's education or employment. So good luck to Year 11s and we will miss you, you've been great. I hope you also had an opportunity to read the letter that came out last night and I hope you're as excited as we are that we can get back to specialist classrooms, that the Learning Resource Centre is opening and we can have book clubs and craft clubs in there and that we can extend our offer of lunchtime and afternoon clubs. Uh, we're really looking forward to some inter-house competitions next term and that real feel that we're back to having group fun. We, we can't wait, we're very excited. Um, we can do that because you are continuing to support us with um, ensuring that your son or daughter wears face coverings in the corridors and the communal areas, ensuring that they wear face coverings on the buses, and of course the bi-weekly testing is such an important part of keeping our community safe. So thank you for doing that and thank you for supporting us with that, which means that we can expand and enjoy a better quality of teaching and learning. So thank you. So moving on to music, and three things to tell you about music at the moment, so I might have to look down occasionally. First of all, music lessons are in full flow again. Uh, these are being offered by specialist teachers, and you can sign up via the electronic version of this newsletter if you think your son or daughter would like to play a musical instrument. They will come out on an occasional lesson to have their music lesson. I bumped into a young man just now who's on his way to his drum lesson, uh, and they, they will be out of lessons on a rotor basis, so they won't always miss the same lesson. So, if you think your son and daughter would like to play a musical instrument, now is the time to look at the newsletter and sign them up. Also, we now have access to an online resource called Musical Futures Online. Our students can go on via their Google Classroom to find the login, and there they can have access to a full resource of play-along, chords, keyboard tabs, diagrams, keyboard diagrams, and in addition, sing-along karaoke as well. So, another way to support our music at school. And finally for music, we are going to produce another virtual concert. This time it will be a virtual summer performance, so if you think that your son and daughter would like to be involved in this, they need to submit their video by the 2nd of July. So, do encourage them to to join in what they'd like to play or sing um, and half term is a great time for them to start practicing. So we had a fabulous virtual music concert last time we did it and we'd like another one of equal quantity and quality. A couple of extra notices, uh, the school nurse as I said in my letter is now back in school every Wednesday so if anybody wants to have a drop in with the school nurse that is now available face to face. Can we also ask you to keep an eye on your parent pay account? Um, we've had a few situations where students haven't had enough money for lunch, so do keep an eye on that. We're hoping to run a few trips next term, so parent pay is going to be a useful resource. Please keep an eye on it. Our Eco Hub is going from strength to strength, uh, and they have got some plans for next month. They have put out a request for some resources, uh, so things like um, gardening tools if you have any to spare, egg boxes and of course expertise so if you've got any time to spare and you'd like to come and help with our new eco hub that would be fantastic please have a look at the uh, details on the electronic version of this newsletter and finally our safeguarding focus so um, there is a new campaign from the internet watch foundation showing parents how to support students and prevent them from being groomed online We've put all the details here in the um, electronic newsletter and there's a new mnemonic based on the word TALK which enables you to talk with your son or daughter about how they approach online and how to prevent them from any online abuse. 
so do please have a look at that. As you know, online is probably one of the most dangerous places to be if we don't monitor it. You are all excellent at doing that, but again, we have this new mnemonic, which would be interesting to talk about if you get the time with your son and daughter, please. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful half term. The weather is going to be supporting us, so it should be great for you to all get out there. I had hot chocolate Friday with the students today. Lots of people going camping, lots of people going to visit relatives that they haven't seen for ages. So I think half term is going to be a welcome break for us all. We look forward to seeing you all next term.